Welcome back to Undulations. So I'm in the process of making a video about the Korg NTS-2 oscilloscope, but some stuff came up this week that I feel like will, once I get a chance to work on it some more, we'll turn that into a better video. So in the meantime, I was uh, patching the castle drum and the castle synth together last night and uh, something came up that I thought, well, I should share that because uh, it's some uh, patching that I sort of did a little bit by accident and I've never really seen before. Now, this is the sort of thing that when I try to reproduce it on the camera, it can be a little bit tricky to get everything to sound exactly the same. So uh, last night I actually captured some video of it and I'm just going to play a couple of minutes of that and then rather than any type of tutorial or walkthrough, I'm going to just put the details of that patch, the whole patch, in the description of this video so you'll be able to reproduce it on your own if you would like. Now, a uh, couple of things to say about the setup. Uh, I'm just using the main outs and running those into the uh, Basil Dude, mix them together, and then I've got that going into the audio in on the NTS-1, so the cousin of the NTS-2 oscilloscope. And But I don't have any uh, voice coming from the NTS-1, I'm just using it for the reverb. So if you're interested in the patch, one thing I would recommend is to just sort of watch the clip to see what it does, but then uh, read through on the description and the two things that I'll call your attention to. Uh, one is that the LFO on the castle drum is patched back into the uh, clock in, so the castle drum is sort of clocking itself. I think I kind of did that by accident. I was, uh, I think I intended to uh, put clock or the triangle LFO into the feed, which is sort of a known thing, put it into the wrong patch point, but I liked how it changed the rhythm. And uh, so that's one aspect. But then the other thing to call your attention to is that on the 1.5 synth, I'm using the triangle LFO into the wave shape with a reset, which is that's kind of a known thing to make sort of a punchy bass line. But then the sort of new part to me was uh, putting the pattern from the, so the pattern LFO output from the castle drum into the wave shape as well. And when the LFO rate on the uh, 1.5 is just right, it gives this really sort of nice, uh, harmonic type sound, a little filtery, a little bit of a formant type voice thing. And uh, it, the Castle 1.5 doesn't even have a filter, but it's just something to do with the way the uh, FM synthesis is working in this case. And I really like how that turned out. Now that part is really just like a minute long at the very end, because I sort of didn't quite know how to make it happen, heard it, lost it, but then finally figured it out and uh, I'll put details about the exact settings for that in the description but anyway hope you enjoy it and thanks a lot for watching this video I will see you in the next one